Uh, Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 13. The Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. <coughs> All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues or languages, also in verse 11. As the Spirit enabled them, as these words standing in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. <clears throat> okay, that obviously just means every nation in the Roman Empire, but yeah, yeah. Maybe a little bit on too, but yeah. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard their own language being spoken. Utterly amazed, they asked, Aren't all these who are speaking Galilean, Galileans? They, then how is it that each of us hears them in our own native tongue? Parthenians, Medes, Elmanites, and Elmanites residents, Elmanites residents of Mesopotamia, Judah, Cappadocia, C A P P A D O C I A, Pontus, P O N T U S, and Asia. Asia, but back then it's mine. That is the Roman province by that name, which is the modern day nation of Turkey, which is part of the continent of Asia nowadays. So, yeah. Even though most people, when they hear Asia, they think of like Japan and China, which isn't wrong. It's just, yeah. Anyway. Pharia, P H R Y G A I A, and Pamphia, P A M P H Y L I A, Egypt, and the other and parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans. That just means people from Crete. And Arabs. We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own languages. Amazed and perplexed, they ask one another, What does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, They have had too much wine. That exclamation doesn't make sense. Like, you really think this whole crowd is drunk hearing their own... Uh...